Can I turn these two old canoes and this load of old junk into something that'll pump water? Let's give it a go. So the basic principle of this pump is you wrap a load of pipe around a coil, something rotating, and then as you dip the one end in the river, it scoops water up. As it goes up, it takes air, sucks air into the pipe. As it goes back down, it scoops water, and that'll create an air bubble inside the pipe. And those little tiny air pockets all add up into a pressure wave that'll be able to force water all the way up a hill. And then I'm going to be attempting to mount that coil on some sort of floating raft made from these old canoes. But first things first, best check that they actually float. Success. Real basic design with the bearings for the bar to sit on. I'm just literally putting it in that V there. This is actually just an old cable drum. So the holes are quite a bit bigger than the scaffold tubes I've got. So I'm just packing them out basically with bits of wood all around. Then I'm gonna send some self-tapping screws through the wood into the bar to lock it all in position. this bad boy spinning I'll just brace up these bits a bit more and then we'll actually finish off the water wheel making the blades for the water wheel super simple I've just got 1.2 meter long bit of wood here and then marking all the other bits the same As you can see, coming together, just three spokes left to go on. I've decided to throw a bit more of this banding on the top joins of each one, because as you can see, this side, a bit wobbly, whereas this side's like rock solid. So I'm gonna throw some on this side too. Right, basic wheel built. So all of these spokes, I've got to put like a fin across the end so the water can actually push it around in a circle. But next, I'll wrap the blue pipe in the coil all the way around this. I just had the thought that I should probably mount this up before I actually start putting the pipe on, as it'll be a hell of a lot easier. And actually trying to install this in the river is going to be a nightmare. So I want to get it all together and make it easy to drop into position once I get to the river. So I've come up with a real simple solution to solve both problems. And I'm just gonna make a temporary thin one of these, just literally for it to sit on. And I'm gonna raise it up just enough so it'll spin free flow on the floor. And then when we get to the river, I can take the temporary ones off and sort of drop it down in between these two where it needs to go on the top of those Vs I've already made. All right, we're spinning. Even on the temporary ones, a bit wobbly. Had to add in a little bit more bracing. But yeah, let's get this pipe on then. I'm just grinding a hole on the inside of the mount point so it'll still spin freely, but I can get a pipe through to the fixing point on the outside. And I'm literally cutting slots. So I've threaded through some 20 mil pipe all the way through. And then that's gonna give me my rotation point here when I put a fitting on. So I'll be able to get this rotational energy connected to something here that'll just be a straight pipe that won't move then. But as you can see here, I've brought it out and started wrapping it round the coil here. And then now I'm gonna connect that to some 25 mil pipe and continue on the coil. But I'm gonna be hitting darkness soon, so I might not be able to film much of the coil going on. But basically now as I've got this set up, all I'm doing is rotating it like this and feeding pipe onto it. Fun stuff. So now I've got this first bit of 20 mil pipe on. I'm going to switch it to the 25 mil pipe, which should create a bit of pressure wave from other things I've read. And to do that, I've literally just got a straight coupler and I've added in this little bung thing, this little reducer, and that'll take it straight to the different pipe. 
And you're meant to add inserts into the end of these pipes so it grips super, super tight, but because this is going to be real low pressure, not bothering me that. So that's the first 25, 30 meters of pipe on. As you can see, I've now got about 30 to 40 coils on there. Probably should count them, shouldn't I? So we're basically done now. Coils on. I've left this loose end here because I'm not quite sure where it's going to be scooping from the water from yet, depending on where I manage to get the fins on, which I shall do now. I've got to cut eight of those. I happen to have left two of these bits of aluminium super thin sheeting that came off a double decker bus left in the junk part so these should cut into perfect fins okay so she's done I've wedged a few little bits of wood in there so that rotates on the center point now so when it's mounted to over here it should all stay pucker hopefully last thing to do is mount this bottle well I'm gonna cut this bottle off sort of 45 degrees ish to create a scoop and I'm gonna mount that with that fitting there to the end of this pipe here but I'm going to hot glue the top of the bottle into the hole Not a bad job. Slight addition. I've gone and put some bracing on around the uh, edge of the wheels. Got kind of roped onto the bucket of the tractor. Moment of truth then. Can I lift it? Almost there. So this is the spot where I'm going to put it, test it out. I don't know if you can quite see here, if I zoom in. It's quite a bit of flow, look at the angle of those grasses. Let's go get the next piece then. Leave that one here. Looks a bit ropey, but fingers crossed, should be able to just lift this end up and support the back end on this bit of a cart and get it down there in one piece. So I've got it down here. Just about. So test one, we haven't quite got enough flow. I think it's because the fins aren't all the way in the water, but we shall remedy that now. And success we have the water wheel spinning filling up with water as we speak and hopefully any minute now we should have water coming out the end of this pipe as you can see I've just put a six by two six meter one pulling it right out into the middle just as temporary at the minute because I will obviously if this works make a slightly better version with a better version of an anchor that can adapt to flood rise or whatever oh. And we've got water coming out. Bloody brilliant. So success, we're pumping about a pint of water per rotation there. Literally gonna add a couple of things, pieces of gutter I think to the bottom of the fin so we get a better rotation speed and then pump more water. And I guess if you enjoyed watching this, like and follow so you can see me make this even better and pump water all the way to the veg patch.